Hello, welcome back. It's Fred up in a radio shack, but not doing a radio video today. No, I'm doing one of these nostalgia trips again. Yep, just like the spud gun that I did the other week. We're doing one of those again, and this time it's one of these cap bombs or cap missiles, cap rockets, whatever you would like to call them. If you was around in the 60s and the 70s at junior school, you would have come across one of these little cap bombs. I think we pretty much all of the boys, we all had these, maybe some of the girls as well. They were pretty cheap, pretty nasty, to be honest, but it was part of your arsenal, along with your spud gun, maybe your pea shooter and your catapult. You had one of these rockets. Now, the way this worked, it, I mean, it's absolutely simple in its design. If, if you look, you have a metal pin with a spring, which is a plunger. And that sort of springs back there and of course the idea is what would happen this would strike a hard surface like a concrete playground something like that and then the shock would just be enough to compress this spring and then crash it back into the into the caps now these caps brilliant things weren't they you had these in your cap gun so you'd have to yeah you, you have to sort of cut one or two of these out i think we used to sort of do it in twos and then slide that into the uh, into the sort of body sort of plate here and then hopefully when this hits the ground yeah not enough not enough force to do it not enough force to do it in my hands but hopefully when this hits the ground it's enough to strike the cap and hopefully the cap goes off now i do remember to recall that when we had these as kids and i'll come on to when i first come across these but these were very very sort of light so you'd have to sort of throw them up really really high or throw them down really really hard and what we used to do as kids this unscrewed not on this one and we used to fill this section with sand or dirt to make it uh, heavier so it came down with a little bit more force but uh, well that's that's the idea behind it a very very basic simple system right what i've done just cut some of these off the reel i think we'll use two and simply you just slid one of these under the plunger, lined it up with the head of the cap, just like that. And yeah, that's ready to go. So I think we'll take this outside and slam it into the ground and hopefully it'll go Ready back. to go then. Now what we used to do in the playground was we'd all stand in a little group, say six of us, something like that, with our cap bombs, and we'd throw them up in the air. And then the first one to run, well, he was the chicken, and the last one to stay there, he was the brave, brave guy. But then we did that for a while, and one of the kids got one of these, came down, hit him in the eye. Gave him a nice black eye, and then he got banned. <laughs> they got totally banned from school. Right, I've got my cap in. Here we go. Let's see if it works. <laughs> first go! Did you hear that? Denied on that one. That's a bit louder than I thought, but uh, yeah, that's that's that worked really. Oh, it smells nice. <laughs> it smells like gunpowder. But yeah, that's that's the result. Even though these caps are smaller, these are definitely smaller. Now I remember they've certainly ignited. And there you go, the cap bomb. Yeah, such a simple thing. I seem to recall one of the kids bringing in an earlier one that maybe his dad or his uncle had, and I think that was all, that was all die cast. So if this was dangerous, God, a die cast one. Well, right, I'm going to do just a couple more, just <laughs> just for nostalgia. I've really got it in the blood of blood at the moment. And there you go, what can I say, it worked. The cat bomb in 2021, it's still kind of entertaining today, I have to admit that. Middle-aged guy playing with cat toys, a bit odd, but no, it is quite entertaining, entertaining today. And uh, you, pick, you can pick these up over on eBay, they're a couple of pounds, Amazon, things like that. If you wanna amuse your grand, your grandkids or something, I'm not sure if they'd find all this amusing. I do remember my, my dad saying that in his day, they used to get two bolts. And I think someone said this in the comments on the spud gun, you would get uh, um, 
two bolts and a big nut in the middle and you would use sort of swan vesta match, matches, match heads, you'd cut them off and then you'd screw the bolts down into the, into the nut and then you'd throw a metal bolt up in the air, imagine that, imagine that coming through the air and cracking down and some of the bolts actually burst open with shrapnel, that, that was really dangerous and we got banned we actually banned these at my junior school, can you believe it? There you go, um, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed that as much as I did. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. I've got some more of this retro stuff coming up. We're all big kids, really. And uh, just sort of something a little bit different on the Fred in the Shed channel. But as for now, as always, thank you for enjoying this with me. I've had, I've had some great fun this afternoon with this little toy. Give me the old thumbs up, I do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, stay safe, still dodgy out there. And I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.